Hi everyone, in this video I will introduce the concept of what I call the um, user management API or at least um, most commonly known uh, the module user managers in uh, Matomo Analytics. Uh, so basically I do know that this API uh, exists, it's just that I knew that there was one for Google Analytics and after receiving actually a couple of questions from Atomo uh, users, I have been surprised that actually uh, the equivalent of the management API of uh, Google Al Analytics already exists for uh, Matomo Analytics. So in this uh, tutorial, I will show how you can add uh, multiple users to a given instance of uh, Matomo Analytics. So the typical use case is uh, when you are lazy and when one is asking you actually to add uh, something like um, hundreds or dozens of users for different websites in Matomo Analytics. So in order to do so, what I did is um, I created actually some uh, login here because this is what it's asking you actually when you go uh, within the reporting API. If you would like to add a user, you need to call actually this method and you need to have as well um, a login, a password, an email, an alias, and an initial ID site. Initial ID site being the default uh, website to which uh, people are connecting to. So I have my login, I have my password, I have my email. So basically the password uh, has been made thanks to um, a formula in, uh, in LibreOffice. The email, as you can see, it's a dummy email that I created myself. And uh, regarding the part that we are interested in, it's just uh, a combination of all the different parameters that you can see here. And here basically what I did is I duplicate the alias. So uh, here, for example, the alias Mary is the same as uh, the login, but I could have do otherwise. So in my case, now I'm gonna uh, compute actually the curl uh, URL, which is needed in order to inject that out within the system. So I'm gonna use a bash script in order to make those multiple requests. A uh, typical request will look like this one. So I will use a uh, curl within my uh, within my shell, within my terminal in order to send uh, some data. Here are the different parameters that I would like to pass. So module API, which is necessary in order to send the request. Uh, users manager user, which is um, in the, let's say the method, which is called, and then the different parameters. So here, as you can see, I already have um, I already have this part, so I just need to add at the end uh, all this part out. So uh, this part is, as I said, the website to which we would like to give them access by default. And the token authentication, it's um, the token that you get um, as a user in order to have the permission to send those requests. So in my case, I just need to append uh, this at the end. So I'm just going to uh, do something like this and normally it should happen at the end of each URL. Yep, the um, the token. And then all I need now is to add the beginning of my uh, curl request. So in my case, that's going to be everything which is uh, before the user login. So that's going to be all these parts. And so same thing, I'm just going to uh, do like my um, beginning and so this is a simple regex in order to say everything which start with something. So at the beginning of the line, I want to add the curl data, something. Okay, so uh, I just did it. I just need to clean uh, the first line up. So uh, let's clean it out. Okay, just removing this part. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to make... Um, a bin bash uh, script out of it. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into this. Okay. Um, this is in order to, let's say, send the multiple uh, request and I need to clean this one up as well. Okay. So here I can see in my file that normally everything is correct. So it will send something like uh, 18 different requests uh, all after the other one. Uh, through this bin bash script. So now all I need to do is to make um, this script as, uh, let's say, um, let's say executable. So 
I'm just going to say, OK, um, you can fire it, is what it means. And now I can execute this script. So I just need to go within my uh, within my shell. So let's go now. So I'm going to go on my desktop, and I'm going to go on my folder. And then on my folder, I have my uh, executable script. So I can just start to um, Execute it. Here it's telling me that the method is invalid, so um, I may have done something wrong. So I'm just gonna uh, just gonna check it. Actually, this one was working fine, so I guess I made a typo or something like this. So let's see uh, what I did wrong. User manager, no, no, no. So um, yeah, as you can see here, I made like a, I have these parameters which has been included twice. So I'm just gonna. Remove it. Oh, that should not happen. Okay. And then, yep. So I can redo it. Okay, so I'm getting as well the same error message. So I'm gonna see again. I did something wrong. So yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe I just did not save it properly. So I'm just gonna uh, save it again. I'm gonna try to execute it again. So hmm. the method name is invalid, and okay. Oh, he said something. Expected module method name. Okay. Okay. So once more, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if this one's okay. So let's copy and paste this one. Okay. So actually, the basic uh, request was wrong. So how is it possible? So when I made it before, it was fine. So I guess. Should still be fine. Mm. So, method users manage. So, let's go over here and say add user, right? So, okay, so I don't know, maybe I'm starting to be a bit crazy because it's start to be late a little bit, but I may have uh, not done it properly. So I'm just going to pick this one up and say, hey, I want to change the users manage by manage user within this document. So now I guess everything's going to be fine if I load it back. So, ah. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, here, as you can see, actually, the requests have been sent all um, properly. And if I go back up here, and if I'm now uh, refreshing my page, I should see normally my 18 additional names, uh, which have been sent through my request. So let's see if it works. Wow. Awesome, isn't it? So I didn't have actually to create them uh, one by one. Um, it made them straight away thanks through the API. Uh, I really hope that you like uh, this tutorial. Uh, do not hesitate to uh, react, to comment uh, anything, or to ask about any tutorial you would like to get. Uh, thanks for watching.